Hello, 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 everybody. We are going to do a bit of a something new, something different. We are going to check out some Mass Effect. I've always heard great things about Mass Effect. And so I figured, why not give it a shot? Especially since I recently got the Legendary Edition, which is basically a super collection, so eh, why not? Although, it is a wee, a bit, a wee bit weird, because even when I'm like, hey, let me have control of my mouse so I can go over to a different window, a different monitor, the game is like, no, we're Mass Effect. We own your, we own your mouse now. Uh, even though... The Mass Effect Trilogy, like, game selection screen allows me to click off to a different monitor. But when I load up Mass Effect 1, it's like, we are now holding your mouse hostage. Gib mouse. Gib mouse. And it is a, uh, it hurts. I don't know why. Maybe because different teams worked on remastering the games and they came to different quirks and also let me just say the frickin main menu music is drilling into my brain because it is just droning space whimsy and I am being tortured right now but yeah Funnily enough, uh, before we get into Mass Effect proper, I will say that uh, despite I having never played Mass Effect before, having never really watched anybody else play Mass Effect before, I did try the Mass Effect demo like years upon years ago. And was very, uh, uh, kind of like put off as like, oh, I can't, sh I, I'm forced to be human in character creation. Lay sad. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know why. I think it's because I saw all the different aliens in Mass Effect. I'm like, oh, they're all so cool. And they're like, and we're going to lock you into being human. And I was like, hmm. Granted, considering how the trilogy eventually went, because, you know, despite being like, choices matter, and it's a trilogy, uh, you kind of have to shove people down the hallway of choices a little bit and be like, okay, even though you made all these choices, this endpoint is still the same for a lot of these choices to a degree. Uh, and this is Bioware. Uh, I've only played a... L well, not really a little bit. I played a decent chunk of Star Wars The Old Republic or, the or Knights of the Old Republic. I forget because the people were weird and like we're going to make an R an MMORPG based kind of off and around this old RPG and we're gonna call it like the old republic and the other one's the knights of the old republic so now you have to say the full name and it's like eh. and hello there loading personality I'm monologuing on the main menu screen of my limited history of Mass Effect which is to say none <laughs> But, yeah, I'll be interested to see how, like, the actual game systems function and how things go and what choices I can make and how they'll spiral out of control before being shoved down the hallway of you have to do this, thou must, in the third game. If we get to the third game, we probably will, but time will tell. But let us get along, start a new career. In this here Mass Effect, and no, I have never played Mass Effect. I downloaded the demo to the f first Mass Effect years and years ago, and was annoyed that I was forced to be human. <laughs> That's the only thing I really remember of my time with Mass Effect, and I don't really know that much about the overall thing, like what planets there are, what plot lines, what choices thou must make when it comes to this character or thou not a real fan. I know nothing. But yes, let us get along, little doggy. In our new space career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Oh boy. 
I want all the secrets. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. The most secure connection. So you can either play as Shepard or create your own stuff. Let's see. Due to your covert N7 status, ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below or register manually. Hmm. Now the thing is, Shepard is like a legendary character. But at the same time, I kind of want to make my own Shepard. But at the same time, legendary character. But my own Shepard. Hmm. This be decisions. <laughs> then again, the Shepard option is probably just like, hey, you don't you don't want to make a character here. Here's just a a preset that's on all the boxes, so you don't have to worry. Or you can make your own. Well, let's, well, let's see what entering a new ID. <laughs> then if you want, you can just do it anyway. <laughs> would you like to play as Shepard? Oh, how, oh, you want to create your own character? Okay, would you like? To, would you still like to play as Shepard? That amuses me. Hmm. Now the question is, what? When it comes to character customization, I'm just like, hmm, very indecisive. So I was like, hmm, who do I want to be? Who do I want to be? I guess I will. Please log in to access your profile. <laughs> and because of all the voice acting in this game, your name is still Shepard. Well, it is me. I am Neon Shepard. Verifying username. Data corruption. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. <laughs> reconstruct your face Confirm for us. Free service history. Let's see. Spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your par parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonist, you were born and raised on Mindwar, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol, and you enlisted the military a few years later. Or Earthborn, you were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. So really, none of them really <laughs> have that much to them. Hmm. Always in space, on one planet before s other space, on Earth before other space. And I have no idea if this affects anything. Probably not, all things considered, considering they have quick starts. <laughs> but I still need to decide. I think I like, hmm. Megatropolises. I'm torn between being an orphan megatropolis survivor of Earth or a spacer. I don't know. Hmm. Spacer, forever in space, so I probably have hollow bones. Or Earth. I guess I'll go Earthborn. Confirm psychological profile. Oh. Sole survivor. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you are alone, are left to tell the tale. War hero, early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from Alliance Fleet, ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast, calculating and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Now I'm torn between Soul Survivor or War Hero. I kind of want to be War Hero because 
So it can be like, oh, uh, Rambo or the Arnold Schwarzenegger in uh, Predator or uh, Captain America. I feel like being Captain America Confirm today. Military specialization. Oh boy. Let's see. Soldier. Soldiers are combat specialists, ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers have improved health, can specialize in the use of all weapon types, start with the ability to wear medium armor, and can train in the use of heavy armor. Engineer. Engineers are tech specialists. Using the holographic omni tool, they can decrypt security systems, repair and modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Engineers can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. Adept. Adepts are bi biotic specialists. Through an upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to throw or lift objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. Infiltrator. Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools, focusing on decryption and offensive capabilities rather than healing. They can use specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. If you have any, like, suggestion, because when it comes to these types of games, sometimes there's like, oh yeah, you never want to go this class. In fact, I have half a mind to be like, hey, starting tips for Mass Effect 1. Because this is a long series. This is three games of uber-long RPGs. I kind of don't want to uh, make a bad choice making my character. It would be like making a bad character choice in System Shock, except much longer. The effects forever haunting. Because, like, I feel like so, like, because this is probably like uh, other Bioware games where it's like, oh, hey, you uh, don't want, <laughs> you aren't going to be doing everything yourself. You're going to have to rely on your teammates. So I don't know what I should do. I'm just trying to think. Because these have long, long way to go. I'm just going to quickly ch check. Is like, what is best class for Mass Effect 1? Just because I'm paranoid and I... D like, if there's like one class that's like, never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> do choose this class. Because it is hot garbage. So, yeah, I, I fear. Decisions. This is why I don't. This is why RPGs are like, oh, I love RPGs, but at the same time, they haunt me. It's because, uh, boy, howdy, they make me fear. They make me fear. So I do not know. So I'm leaning towards soldier just because of simplicity. Maybe infiltrator because I like to be a sneaky bastard. I do not know. I just, I don't know. I don't know what I want to pick. I'm scared. Because, again, this is a three-part trilogy. So it's just like... If I'm... Eh.
I mean, if worse comes to worse and I really hate the play style, I could always restart early on, but once you get, like, any percentage way through the first game, you're kind of stuck. I think I'm gonna go Infiltrator just because Sneaky Bastard sneeze seems interesting. And plus, it gives me Omni Tool access, so. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Infiltrator. Confirm facial identification. I don't know why it, it's like confirm appearance. Just like flick around your head. That's weird. Change appearance. Let's see. Cycle presets. I kind of wish it would have stayed on the actual original Jane Shepard preset for me to play with. Just trying to find a facial structure, I guess. Would thou stop moving, Shepard? Trying to find a good preset. And then you can copy and paste your character code, apparently. This is before they allowed you to actually go and do things. Neck thickness. Would you like a, a five centimeters or, or three? That's what it feels like. And then you can't even really move the head around at all. So you can't really see it from all sides. Oh no. Fear. Like, seriously, being able... Uh, ah, there we go. I need to right-click. And even then, it is kind of finicky and doesn't let you actually do anything. Don't want to be that gaunt. Yeah, that seems good. Maybe. Oh yeah, ears! I can't see them. <laughs> why would you why would you have ears before hair? Okay, let's just go ahead and do ears. Once again, it's kind of hard. Shepard, look forward. So I can actually look and see how your ears look. Very finicky. That is what I'm going to say. Very, very finicky. Okay, now look forward, please. Very finicky. Seriously, why can't... <laughs> why is there such a limited space of actually looking and so finicky to get them to actually kind of work. The w I don't know why, it's just so wonky. Why is it so wonky? This is character creation. Why is it so wonky to actually control to see, it's like, hmm, how can I actually see my character? I would like to be able to, stop! The character creation of this is kind of ass. Because they don't let you fucking see. That's all I want. I just want to see. But no, it's like, oh, you have to wait for the proper idle animation if you want to see that specific thing. And it's like, why? For the love of God game, this is... Give me Skyrim. 
I beg of thee. And also, yeah. Because again, like, from here, looks fine. And then, oh god, oh dear, oh lord, nightmares. So yeah, would be nice if I could actually fucking look at my goddamn thing. And be like, oh yeah, that's why it looks like that. And then the game is just like, oh sorry, we're not going to let you actually see anything. It's just like, why? It is kind of, just, it hurts me. It hurts so much. It's like they expect you to only ever see your character either from behind or facing front. Right now it looks like an abomination. I'm just trying to get my character to look somewhat good. Why? I just quit idling animation. I want to control how you look and I can't do it. I hate this. I honest to God hate this. Stop. Why are you so hard to fucking control? Oh, now you stop idling. Oh. <laughs> it hurts. This legitimately hurts. To even try to get it to function. Because there's like so many little things I'm just trying to get you to actually function and work. And then the game is just like, oh yeah, sorry, you can't do that. Just let me take control. Stop moving. <laughs> Dear God. Why? Why can't you just be a turnaround? <laughs> why can't you be like Elden Ring? I know. But at the same time, why can't you just be like Dark Souls? Let me just have control. So I can actually see what you look like instead of, oh, I am going to idle all over the place. So while you're crafting, it's like, oh yeah, that looks good. Slight move. Oh god, it's horrifying. But I can't do... And not to mention, the only way to get a full profile look sometimes is to just beg for the idle animation. Whoever made this, I hate you. I hate you. Oh, oh you monsters. Why? Utter abominations. Ugh. Hurt my very soul. Hurt my mind. Let's find a hairstyle that I like. It's not that many hairstyles. Understandable. This is an older game. Stop! Idle animation! Bye! Idle animation driving me insane. Idle animation make me want to blow up again. And like none of the hairstyles are really all that good. I might actually I hate to have I hate to do it, but I might just have to completely Yeah. Confirm I'm facial. Confirm military. Confirm I'm going all the way back and becoming different Shepard because the hairstyles were just profile. abominable. I probably should have done that after I fixed the ears, but yeah, the hairstyles just horrible, horrifying. Warning. Then again, if the <laughs> character customization was slightly better. I would have Confirm been able to go and like, oh hey. Confirm psychological profile. War hero. Confirm military special identity. Infiltrate. Facial identification. Change. Confirm 
Ai, 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 ai. Once again, we have to be careful. Because I, ha I hate... <laughs> I kind of hate this. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Why is it a hair trigger? Why is it a hair trigger movement? What I just want to see. How different. <laughs> Look forward, you bastard. Bastardo. <laughs> and by beards, they mean stubble. Hairstyle's the best. Yeah, I agree. It's nice, simple, and it doesn't drive me insane. I'm gonna go turn off my lamp. That way there, there's less glare on my screen and I might actually be able to see the top of his head. Hello and welcome to Mass Effect, where the first 30 minutes is like, hmm, how can I get my character to look decent? And then Bioware comes in and says, no, you don't get to. I think there's a reason why Basic Shepherd is bald. It's the only hairstyle. I think I've been spoiled by anime games. They care about the hair more than this game does. Well, that's utterly horrifying. This makes me kind of wonder. Like, how, like, the other Mass Effect games, Ziz, uh, character creation is like. That'll be interesting to experience if we get there. This character will keep uh, going through other games. Yep. I just wonder, like, what the other diddly Ds are like if they, like, upgraded it all. Or if they, or, like, how they change it in the other games. So if, like, oh, you jump in mid-game? Here, create character. Yeah, things are slowly coming together, I, I would say. Although I will say that, for some reason, I ever so slightly enjoy the simplicity of uh, Star Wars uh, Knights of the Old Republic's <laughs> character creator. They'd hit him with a Snapchat filter. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. The one downside is like, oh, let's see what other shapes there are. And then it's just like, oh, now all of them look kind of weird. Yeah. 
Now I kind of, I don't use Snapchat, but now I kind of wonder what it would be like to, like, put Snapchat filters over video game characters, create the most abomination, abomination, and Bloodborne, run the, a Snapchat filter over them. I just think it would be interesting. There has to be, like, videos of that on the internet somewhere. So yeah, I think this comes out to be pretty decent. Just need to find a good eye color. And we shall and maybe run through the hairs one more time. See if we can get a hair that agrees with me. Sadly, most of them are very military. Which is understandable. We are a part of the military, but still. What if I wanted to go super renegade and just be like, Screw your hair assignments, Commander. I do what I want. Hair my way. Are you really a renegade if you don't style your hair however you want? And okay, Profile you will do. Construction complete. You know, if we are a war hero, it's it kind of, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Profile is it has corrupted data. Please fix it. I'm like, I'm totally a war hero. <laughs> that'd be hilarious. That could be a action comedy sci-fi uh movie. Some janitor has his data corrupted, and he's just like, oh, I'm actually this uh, super war hero. Once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. Uh, that's kind of what that this is. I'm not expecting to play Elder Scrolls. <laughs> Identification confirmed. We want it to be normal, auto level up off, level scaling, legendary mode. In classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range will be used, instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. XP and talent points progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Then what's the point? Uh, I guess I will quickly Google Mass Effect, Legendary Mode, or Classic. Uh, or, or maybe just which level scaling. Because it doesn't seem like it would affect anything, but at the same time, it's, like, oddly specific and makes me worried. Because it's just, it's so weird. Squad power usage. Defensive determines which skills and talents squad members will use in combat. So either none, defensive, or all. That's weird. Let's see. In classic mode, you'll experience Mass Effect 1 as it was originally. Yeah. So it's going to... Oh, since you, the game was designed around New Game Plus. That's kind of weird. Uh, maybe. It's just like... <laughs> maybe looking back, it's just like, why would a trilogy game have New Game Plus? It was only possible to get around level 30 in a single playthrough. If you want to do you need to... In Legendary Mode, you can expect to level up less frequently, but with more talent points each time you do so. So I guess I'll go with Legendary. But I don't know. Squad power usage, I guess, defensive? Subtitles on, autosave on, enable tutorials. 30 minutes, almost 40 minutes in. Wow. Let's get on. We finally wrangled the abominable character creation. And it's only abominable because it wouldn't let me move the head the way I wanted. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. That's what an orphan is. Doesn't have one. 
He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. I've heard this he voice before. During the blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason the Lysium is still standing. Hell yeah! We can't question his courage. You could try. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. How dare you! I'll make the call. <laughs> He's the best we've got. That seems like a backhanded compliment. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in humankind, and it went away. The civilization of the galaxy called it Mass Effect. Kind of rude. That is just like it didn't even get close to the top. It's like, eh. Nick's green, eh. Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? That's right. I am Commander Shepard. Me. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Eh, just let me snipe him from orbit. Station secure for transit. Oh no. We have the Joker working for us. What's he doing out of... <laughs> is this ship just Arkham Asylum flying through space? DC Comics would make that a thing, wouldn't they? Arkham in space! And since nothing's really happening, I'll take this opportunity to do a quick listen. Oh, no, no. I would say audio bouncing is good. <laughs> oh yeah, space travel, just giant guns that Thrusters, shoot ships. Check navigation. Check internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I don't know what that means overall. Am I the captain or am I just a commander? <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment, so you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead, so that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. How dare you? you I'm can. an infiltration the specialist. That kind of makes me a specter. Project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. Hmm. I agree with that final bit. Maybe. Hmm. Luckily, there's no time limit, looks like. Don't want that. That's angry. Yes, I know. I'm just thinking. Hmm. Is he overreacting at the same time the council it could be shady? But I don't... But by my poor boy. I kind of... Well, maybe. I don't... Maybe he's... It depends if that guy, that Spectre, is a future team member or not. That I'll agree with, Joker. They don't Joker. send Spectres on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Oh, so I'm not the captain. Darn. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself. Eden sir. Prime? Nihilus Where's Eden Beta? Beta? He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? <laughs> Is he upset? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. <laughs> I can't possibly imagine why. Oh, well, that went by fast. Press escape and open journal to view updated mission objectives. And lots of things went by that I was not allowed to read. Squad. The squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Mouse over a special talent or rank to view it. Click on a talent and spend a talent point to gain a rank in it. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher of daily D. Electronics. Increase the strength of your shield. Increase the amount of hull restored when you repair the vehicle. Let's you use electronic skill to repair or bypass objects. Object. Yeah, objects. Grants the overload ability, decryption, and then just did ladies, infiltrator, charm, intimidate. Definitely want to raise those up. 
Infiltrator, relying on stealth and reconnaissance. Infiltrators prefer. I have three points. I have three points. Oh, sabotage. Can use decryption on uh, skill on easy objects. Does 50 damage in a 6 meter radius. Diddly D. Can I upgrade? Oh, what? But I thought I was sniper rifle god. Hmm. I thought we used sniper rifles. Hmm. Required pistols, 5 points. Tactical armor. Very interesting. Then I guess uh, pistol, definitely, because I want my daily toggle helmet. I don't have a helmet, apparently. Apparently, I'm already Paragon. Yes. All right. Journal. Prologue on the Normandy. You are Lieutenant Commander Shepard, Executive Officer of the SSV Normandy. Speak to the Captain. Go to the Captain Anderson's in the comm room. No assignments, but I do have missions. I wonder what the difference is. Codex. Personal History Summary. Well, I might as well read it. You were born on Earth, but you never knew your parents. A child on the streets, you learned to live by your wits and guts, surviving in the hidden underbelly of the metropolises of humanity's underworld. Eager to find a better life, you joined the Alliance military when you came of age. You were on the shore leave at Elysium when the first wave of the Scalian Blitz struck. A massive coalition of forces of slavers, crime syndicates, and uh, bat Batarian warlords attacked the human colony, determined to wipe it out. You rallied the civilian inhabitants, leading them in a desperate fight to hold off the invaders. When the enemy troops broke through the colony's defenses, you single-handedly held them off and sealed the breach. After hours of brutal fighting, reinforcements finally arrived, and the enemy broke ranks and fled. Because of your actions, Elysium was saved, and you were guarded through the Alliance as a true hero. Humanity and the Systems Alliance. I don't think I want to read that. That's a lot of... That's uh, just a timeline. Ah! Alien Council Races. Roughly 1,200 years ago, Ooh, the Turians this one were talks. invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Hmm. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. Oh no, the Zuko there is species. There animosity between Turians and humans over the first contact war of 2157. Which is known as the Relay 314 incident. <laughs> it's to the just Turians. an incident to them. Especially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. That's hilarious. The first contact war, but to the Turians, it's just an incident. Wow. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Saul's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough and, political will Well, then to again, if they did find stuff on Mars, effort. yeah. Still, the I Alliance suppose that's was true. often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. That is kind of funny. Equipment. 
The equipment screens allow you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Click on the filter tab to switch item types. Select an item and click the equip button to assign it. Click on the equipped items upgrade slot to select an upgrade. Click the Omni Gel button to break down the selected item into Omni Gel. So apparently I have an assault rifle, a shotgun, a pistol, or no, is this just showing everything I have? Or is it just... I don't know. This actually is a weird layout. Selected item. Ammo upgrade. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't make noises like that. That makes it sound like I actually selected an upgrade in a game. So I have an Omni tool, which has five recharge bonus and shield bonus, but no cooldown bonus. So yeah, apparently I have four weapons. Did not expect that. Oh no, lots of things. I thought that was grenades. No, that's grenade launcher. Terrifying. Very interesting. And would you like to go back to the main menu? Uh, let's go look at the map. I can make waypoints! Alright, so I want to take a look around. Plot! That's what I most definitely watch everything for. Mineral, point of interest, anomaly, debris, survey, transitioned. Lots going on. So up here is the comm room, so I'm going to want to look uh, around. Why is there a zoom noise? But only when I scroll. If I manually do it, it doesn't make noise. Scroll wheel, it screams. Why? Why does it do that? And I guess I'll go ahead and make a save game. How do I put gun away? Controls! I need controls! How do I put a gun away? Okay. Toggle walk is T. Why? Toggle crouch. Space bar for sprint! <laughs> what? Aim is right mouse button. Shoot. Use first aid is V. Melee is F. That one kind of makes sense. Holster weapon is H. Okay, that's what I that's what I was looking for. I do not I do not want to shoot my friends. Hello. Okay, I'm. Just, what is E? E is like hey, do thing. Okay, that's in combat. Vehicle. Okay. User sprint. Space bar. So it's not E. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. I'm the commander. He can wait all he damn well wants. Well, I kind of like the reflection effect on that door. <laughs> Navigator. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Hmm. Heard you arguing. What do I want? Hmm. Heard you arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. No problem at all, my man. I have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Hmm. What do you... Uh, what do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives. Top covert agents. Why hmm. send a Spectre, elite. a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Hmm. Investigate. Stealth systems. What do you know about the stealth system? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But 
why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheap, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. I hope we're not gonna be, like, false flagged. Hmm, a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Hmm, Captain. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. That's impressive. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Turian Spectre. don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. <laughs> my grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Hmm. Plus, he's a specter. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Hmm. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Yeesh. <laughs> Dr. Chakwa? Chakwas? What do you think, Commander? Oh, we're both. We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. The doctor's right. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. Boredom I is a killer. A mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Hmm. Investigate. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire... Only talks to the captain, but himself. doesn't answer to him. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. Hmm. The Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually a lot of these voices I feel like I've heard before. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically... They're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Great, protect space CIA. Cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful. Oh, bad things are gonna happen. They don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main cell. You're so gonna die, Jenkins. But. You're so gonna die, Jenkins. I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Why are we going here? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Well, you'll do fine, Jenkins. And by that, I mean you're gonna die. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. <laughs> Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Be careful, Jenkins. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. Well, goodbye, you two. Captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Ooh, I got a codex and experience for talking to people. Only the commanding officer may specify a destination for the Mormondy. I just want to look at the map. But yeah, Spectre on board. Makes me 
kind of annoyed that uh, characters aren't designated on the map, but oh well. Well. On we go. Oh, Nihilus isn't here. Please don't kill me. I just got here. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Hmm. Talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. And beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people. You are talking way too creepy, man. Not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? Hmm. What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. He's not Isn't saying the it. Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. Yeah, if everyone this else can feel it. Far more than a simple shakedown run. Hmm, <laughs> that's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Well, what are we picking up? Because that will declare the secrecy. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like we need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why did we tell the Council? <laughs> hmm. You sound worried. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate. Hmm. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Huh. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Hmm. Well, what's the next step? Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard... Ah, so they're space dwarves. Everyone agrees. Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Eden Prime. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world. But it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. And the beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? And who what knows what this beacon fire. might be calling out to? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of citizen space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. 
Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Terminus systems? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Well, give the word, no Captain. pressure. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. It's already under attack. Bring it up on screen. Huzzah! Get down! She's dead. What is attacking? Please get a clear look. Oh boy, tentacle hands. Space GoPros do not record well apparently. Out after that, no com traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse Even Prime is down. What the hell is that? Is 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Yep. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Yeah, Tell since we're I'm just a small strike quickly. team, You're going in. doesn't look like we'll be able to do much saving. So we just need to make sure that Eden Prime doesn't fall along Aging with the beacon. Systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. So saving the survivors is my one. top objective. Got it. Nihilus. Coming with us? I move faster on my own. You're gonna die. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. He can count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Up that squad. Caden, he has two points. First aid, Sinadol. Throw. And I would say first aid. Jenkins. Jenkins is so gonna die. Okay, journal. Yeah, you're on in charge of the ground team. No assignments. Codex. Lots to read. The terminus systems are humanity's first contact. Oh, this one's blinking. Get out of here. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Your guard up. Those do not look normal.
gas bag. Don't worry, they're hot. Okay, good. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, I'm gonna want to check out that area. Oh, I forgot. Running his space bar for some reason. And this, this. Oh, I'm fatigued. Weapon upgrade or armor upgrade? Oh, I can take them all. I thought it was a, a choice. Gas bags. They're harmless, he says. All right. Next, I'll check there as we move through. I forgot that's aiming. War. Hold the uh, left shift to switch weapons for your squad. Yeah, this is beta squad. These two are totally gonna die. Hello, Jenkins. I knew you'd die. Rip right to his shields. We're at a chance. And there was something about marking enemies. We can't help him now. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. I would say it would be nice to give him a burial, but... Sorry, Jenkins, we can't really prioritize a burial right now. Ah, so this is... So either... I too want you to use Sniper. So I can control your abilities. And I can quickly do things. Let's see. Just nothing seemed to be out of the ordinary. Well, there was a little pocket that we might have missed. I'm paranoid, and I do not like that we lost. It's like, yeah, the moment Jenkins is just like, I can't wait for action. Hopefully, okay, I don't know what that red flash was. But hopefully, this isn't a timed mission thing. Where it's like, oh, we decided to take a uh, leaflet out of Dewis X's booklet. You took too long, and everybody's dead. I would legitimately re do a save. In fact, I'll make another save. New save. I need to save scum. I'm probably well, no, I don't need to save scum. But I probably will end up save scumming. I'm gonna wait for my dude to incur more damage. Medi gel is needed to heal injured squad mates. Omni gel can be used to bypass decryption and electronics. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Shields max. Use left shift to order, uh, give orders or use Z to attack. A QE, have specific squad rate move to a point or attack the targeted enemy. Regroup and follow you. Okay. 
proceed to call them back. You know, the map made this place look a lot flatter than it actually is. Keep your head down, Kaiden. I know you're probably gonna die in a cutscene, but I'd like you to live. You probably won't, because... From what little I know, you don't exist in the future. Part of me kind of wonders if Nihilus is behind some of this. I don't know. Nihilus just feels weird. I wonder if there's an achievement for killing all the gas pockets. Hey, be a bastard. Oh, hey, it's that Ashley woman, probably. Nice split second attack. Oh boy, it's the Borg. Oh, it's Vlad the Impaler Borg. They're probably gonna come out from behind you. Glad that I was able to make it to you. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? What happened here? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. You're alive enough, so you're okay. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Don't blame yourself. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Murder. Beacon. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Hmm. I'll say join us would put her at risk, but at the same join us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Hmm, before the attack. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. And the scientists? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. The beacon. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. And the Geth? What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Huh. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Well, enough to chat. Let's go. Move out. I got Paragon. Press escape to go to squad menu to spend talent points on new squad members. I'll give you more armor. And... Give you that too. Let's see. Check map quickly. Sc 
Light armor. Human. Scorpion 2. Change your team's equipment, and then go to the equipment tab. Okay. Interesting. Ah, you at whoa, that's some nice shields. Oh no, those weren't shields. For some reason it went to grenade. Ah, because she doesn't have something, so when I went back it defaulted to that. Ah, interesting. So they're both Onyx one. I'm gonna keep mine. Alright. I should probably save. I'm going to have so many saves. Oh. Okay. Okay, those guys were fools. You have things to say? Even Brian will never be the same again. Yeah, got that right. Okay, those guys were eaten alive by that. Okay, a new pistol and a new assault rifle. Well, new. I got lots of points. Woohoo. Definitely want tactical armor. Put those up. Want an infiltrator just for kicks. I guess. Yeah. I need to use your abilities more. Barrier. Adds a biotic barrier to your shield that absorbs damage, but cannot block attacks that bypass shields. Give you a shield boost. And assault training. And, uh, one in your shoulder. <laughs> one in your shoulder! I was gonna go to... Less accuracy, more damage. Ah, there's a combat sensor. The combat sensor upgrade improves detection levels, making these enemies visible. Fear. 
feel like mm, I'll wait a bit. Okay. More damage, less accuracy. I'll take that. And once again, I better save and I'll make one last save. Well, maybe not one last save. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here and must have been moved. Yeah, by, by the who? creepies. Our side or the geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Any survivors? Think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Hmm, point of interest. We're heading there. Change of plans, Shepard. It's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Especially Good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Why do they on spikes? Turned into robots. Oh. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? We have to kill them. I need to use this more for selecting my goddamn weapons. Hi, hi, hi. Some locked objectives require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock it. Advance to the central core. Move the mouse. Around the ring, left click and right click to move inward and outward. Avoid the security programs. Move the mouse to move around the ring. Left click and right click to move inward and outward. Dang it. Okay. Humans. Thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Hmm. Hmm. You're safe. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save Well, nice to know the doctor no survived. Saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Hmm. Attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. Madman. You could hear the battle outside. I like how I'm everyone's just ignoring him for now. I thought it would never end. Ignore the madman. Everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. The nihilist. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. Could have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Beacon. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. 
Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Assistant. What's wrong with your assistant? <laughs> Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <laughs> I can shut him up, no. Goodbye. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Uh, those aren't boxes that I can open. Oh, crap. Come on. Move. Oh, then again, I can order them, so... Okay, magic teleporting man. Ah, we can open this one though. Ooh boy. New stuff. And a grenade and omni gel. Equipment time. Less accuracy, but more damage. Seems to be the big thing. Heat seat capacity. Sure. Alright. Wanna head that way and then that way before we hit the train station. Seem shocked. Saren. No, he looks nice. robot. Shoot him. Shoot him. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? Shoot him. The council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the gap here. The situation's bad. Is he normally so robotic? I've got it. Game said something about marking enemies. I need to go look for that. Let's see. Order rally order order. Switch 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 quick slot. Nah. Mentioned something about marking enemies. And then there's different zooms. Well. Lots of noise. Okay, glitchy up and downy. And the noise. Apparently. Assault rifle breaks the game noise. Oh, good God, you're almost dead. How do I order healing? 
Ah, Medigel is for everyone. Good to know. Good god, I almost lost my guys. Wait. I can't see who's who. We're all clumped up on each other. Take all. Ah, uh, Turian, so nobody out here can currently wear that. This one does... Oh, it's only a one-shot. No, I don't want that. I need to be able to make mistakes. And the sound's gone again. Why? Is it just me? No, OBS is also reporting no sound. But only in the overworld. Overworld, you know, but in the game. Menus are fine. Maybe if we move... Okay. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? They're gone. We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Attack details. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. The beacon. Do you know anything about the Protean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Ship. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? It was big. It was scary. It came to kill us all. Clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. Was it a jamming signal? It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. Well, goodbye. I have to go. Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. Hmm. What's going on? You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Like what? What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Is that all? We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Thank you, dude. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He may know something. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. Thank you, Cole. You're a good guy. I have to go. Good luck. Take all. Begin manual bypass. Take all. Thank you, Farmer Cole. I'm glad that I could be a nice guy and get you to give give me all your stuff. And uh, explore heavy armor, Krogan armor. Why do you have Krogan armor, my dude? And nobody can use that armor.
and I should probably save mm -mm, just in case another backup save because I part of me is just like I don't know how far uh, back I might want to go someday at the very least there doesn't seem to be any ha 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 you have messed up and uh, you took too long time aha I am the lord of time fuck you I am god ha 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 I don't like that kind of thing. I like to dig around. I like to explore. So when the game is like, you took too long, and it's just like, and you didn't tell me? I'm the game. I don't... Oh, I thought that was a health bar over the horizon. Nope. I don't know what that noise is, but I'm probably going to have to deal with it. To me! Thank you for teleporting. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding. That is a dumb creatures. question. If that if it if it told me the exact sentences. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Tell me what happened. I need to know how Nihilus died. Uh, the other one got here first. I might have to look to see if there are any he, he mods that <laughs> I I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. I'll wait till he's done talking, then I'll he get my thought. Down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. But yeah, I might have to look and see if there's like any kind of mods I can maybe get. Because uh, it would be nice to know what like a longer sentence, uh, the exact word would be. Then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. The Geth didn't find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Lucky break for you. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Cole mentioned you. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, <laughs> what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? Need My to know if you know anything. Dead, the entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? Smuggle any weapons? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. We're wow. out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hmm. Honestly, yeah. But, uh, let it go, Williams. Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. You should make amends. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. What did you see in the attack, Powell? Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. 
the ship. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Know anything about the beacon, pal? Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Well, goodbye, pal. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. High explosive. Take... Phasic rounds. I wonder if it's possible to take uh, upgrades off. Some inspector, you turned out to be, boy. High powered sniper rifle, you are my friend. Get sneaky shot. Okay. The auto aiming kind of made it hard to actually aim. Oh my god. Kill this friend. Thought that was going to explode. Let's see if I can... I don't know how grenades work in this game. They just fly forever. Thank you for taking stupid head airlines. Keep forgetting. And then I'll head to... seem to be anything here. Move up. a ton of enemies and one big bastard that was scared me
But at least I made the right choice going sniper boy. Sniper boy for life! Man, that's a tiny train. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Too bad. I'm here. And I live. I am the liveliest live to ever lie. And I will exist beyond you, ugly boy. Okay, that's creepy. So we need to stop that from blowing. <laughs> We're just standing here. Normal procedure. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Let's see. The radar is not helpful. Dang it, why do you teleport like that? I gotta keep an eye on my allies' health, too. Oh, what? Okay, he did the moonwalk. Dang it, I aimed over his head. Jammed, huh? I would like to do it. Two charges remaining. I thought there was only like three. On to me. Oh, you were shooting at him. Bombs for you. And that was supposed to destroy the entire colony. I call shenanigans. There's no way in hell that would have blown up the entire colony. Now I'm just looking for any items I might be missing. Items that could be uh, gifted to me. Coming this way probably would have been, well, maybe not smarter. That gave us clear access to all the bombs. Let's check the map. And it seems that we're not on any more time limits, so... I'm gonna check down here. Any items, anything? Nah, uh, just another car. I wonder if this will mean that I qualify for the specters, considering I'm alive. Turning dudes into zombies, why? Storage locker. It's 
Somehow that worked. I don't think we need to worry about the beacon just yet. Another storage locker. I'm gonna have to upgrade my decryption skills. Hammer two. More damage, but only one. Ah, another Reaper. Here, have a Reaper. Chemical rounds. Popular pirates, criminals, and mercenaries. These rounds are coated with highly toxic compound. 30% plus toxic damage. Or phasic. Less damage, but shield bypass. Lots of combat sensors. Any other mod? Royal dampener? Don't really care. I'll go... I keep forgetting, that's not run. There's an open crate. Let's not go for the beacon just yet. Edge! Elkos Combine Pistol. Hopefully I get all this stuff back at the, or at least have the option to get all this stuff back. Like the game is, oh, there's actually a little hazard thing. Haha, you're taking damage, haha. Nice to know. Just triple checking that there isn't anything of interest. There is a thing of interest. Shield regenerator and fusion explosive. Lots of frickin' armor that I can't wear. Hardened weaved. Shield recovery or hardening? In fact, uh, speaking of, I want to check and see. Can I remove? You can remove, yes. That means that you can play around with things, yes. That's the thing that so many th games fail at. They're like, <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? We're going to make it impossible to take things off. Making you not want to do anything ever. He's like, come on, it's common frickin' sense, dude. You want people to experiment, you let them have the ability to actually experiment. Because if you put too many consequences on trying to experiment, people aren't going to experiment. They're going to go, oh, I get punished for this, and they won't do it. I probably should have saved. You know, if consequences come up. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. Am I going to get punished for bringing her along? Please, for the love must have activated it. Please don't touch it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. I'm gonna be punished for bringing you along, won't I? I have been punished for my duties! Oh, I become super powerful! I become God! It's gonna explode. Lol. I have all things inside head now. <laughs> I just realized this might as well be Mass Effect. <laughs> Shepard made sure that Ashley didn't become the main character.
And I got a trophy. Well, not trophy, but a medal for that. Identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. The Matriarch, huh? Eh? Command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. He's so angry. <laughs> she just dodged it. That's hilarious. She just kind of sidestepped his temper tantrum. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Shepard, what happened? I can see the future. Oh no, they can see me. You had us worried there, Shepard. Good. How are you feeling? Bad. What happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Ah, don't blame yourself. You no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. Nah, I think that was the visions. The visions knocked me out cold. Uh, well, I'm gonna say thanks. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. Damn, I was hoping for alpha waves! An increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Not a dream. A vision. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Huzzah! Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Things are probably not going to go well because uh, the council's going to be like, "Why is our specter like dead?" You pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Why is Williams here? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. She has a good head on her shoulders. Agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. <laughs> I'm pissed off about the geth. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The geth haven't been outside the veil in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. It's less about prediction and more just knowing. But you wanted to talk? You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The council's going to want answers. Hmm. We've got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. Yay. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. Oh, so they're not gonna but take it for well. Geth, it means he's gone rogue. And the council probably won't take a it well. Spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. He wanted the beacon. Hates him. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. <laughs> Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I think and he's partially taken over by the Geth from all the robo-tubes in his head. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? A vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Our death. A warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. 
What will we say? What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Sarah took it. But I know Sarah. I know his reputation as politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets. Basically, the they tried to blow up an entire colony. He his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. <laughs> You're right. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. So they can revoke his specter status. We expose him. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Oh boy, I get to be... And again, that went super fast. I'm going to assume that's just an autosave. Because that goes by way too fast. Oh, I still have my armor on. Nice. For a moment I thought I didn't have my armor on. Because look at me. I'm naked. I'm horribly underqualified for hell. Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're Ashley. Here, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. He'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. I don't get that logic. Jenkins got killed because he was shot by drones out in the open. If he lived, we would have shot things faster and got to you faster. So I don't really get like, oh, I probably wouldn't be here. Well, you earned it either way. You're a good soldier, William. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot for me. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. How are you holding? How are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. <laughs> it's like that Attack on Titan meme. He lost his whole but squad. Not just one action. or two, his whole squad. You helped. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Glad to have you. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I got Paragon, because I talk to people. Woohoo! Ah, so people are now. Sleeping pods. Sleeping pods. Captain's office. I'll go talk to people a bit more. Caden. Oh no, Doctor. I didn't know. Things lied to me. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Captain Anderson. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew whip knows crack. he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. Kaiden. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Hmm. Lieutenant Alenka was wired for the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Complications? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical... Yeah. There's a long That's list terrible. of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. And personal questions. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me, too safe, too secure. And I figured was the me. colonies were teeming with exotic Orphan. adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. You amuse but me, humanity Doctor. Humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. 
But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Yeah. Good day to you, Doctor. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Caden. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Glad to see you too, Caden. Ah, nameless crew. They're probably gonna die. I need to work on my cardio. Captain Anderson? Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. I swear I've heard his voice before, but I can't place a name. I'm terrible with names, you see. Huh. Elevator. Why would I need an elevator? I guess to go further down. Apparently there's a point of entrance on the map. I guess I'll go ahead and save. Save over my last Normandy save. Guess I'll try the elevator. See what it has to do. Explore the Normandy a bit. This will probably take me to the generator room. In the Normandy's vehicle bay, using a squad member's locker allows you to assign equipment to them. New equipment may be purchased from the requisition officer. Huh. So this is... more character. So you can equip people with stuff before you even head out. Neat. It says there's a point of interest over here. Squad lockers. You've been taking a lot of hits. Have the shield regenerator. I have a decent amount of money. Don't know what the other resources down there are. I think gel? Omni gel. Gel. And there's a requisition officer. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. <laughs> pay you? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than twice. <laughs> But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Show me. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Heavy armor, human. Compare. And these are pretty expensive. 12,000. I only have 1,000. And here, I thought I had a decent amount of money. Metagel upgrade. I uh, that's cheap and it's a permanent upgrade. Grab. These I don't mind buying. Everything else is very expensive. Thank you, sir. Let's talk. Looking for supplies? Investigate. Licenses. What are licenses? Why do you need them? That's dumb. Manufacturers sell Shepherd, we all know. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of product. Huh. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Manufacturers. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. New items. How often will you get new items? 
Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. All right. Not right now, thanks. No problem. Keep checking back. Interesting. Let's head to engineering. Engineer Adams, how goes Check things? Indeed. Got a codex. Got codex and experience. <laughs> Click on everything, get experience. And a bunch of codexes. I have no idea where in the stream I'd want to read a bunch of codexes. I don't know why, but the music is, like, odd here. At least it isn't... Who knows, maybe it's exactly the same and I've just become numb to it. But uh, it doesn't feel as droning and breaking as... Navigator. Navigator. Can't talk to him. Hmm. So it's a object of interest, but I can't do anything. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins is hard enough on the crew. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything else. Oh, there is this. Another elevator that I apparently cannot take yet. Well, time to save over... Normandy quarters. Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Are we just gonna shoot right into their docking bay? Gaze upon my magnificent ship. That's a lot of smoke. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. <laughs> Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. This feels like a giant monster. solar power. Uh, solar, power. solar power. Solar panels. Fleet. Good thing is on our side. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Uh, two away from 420. And then Joker messes up the approach, and we all die horribly, and that's the end of the trilogy before it even began. <laughs> These loading screens are very fast. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Well, they sound just like bureaucracy. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. It's true. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. 
You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. To be fair, but he went ahead on his own. His. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Eh. Journal, Codex. Alright, let's take a look at the journal. Maybe the squad, any new levels? Nope. It would have said, but still. Expose Saren. Any assignments? Ah, kind of weird that we have to do that. Well, let's see, can I actually click on... Nope, just go to the tower. Follow the pulsing arrow. Follow the bouncing pog head. It will show you the way. Alliance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol on the Argos Rogue Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send a, uh, an Arikon team? Ooh, a new journal. While in the Citadel, you uncovered an Alliance Patrol Report. One of the patrols mentioned some strange activity in the Hydra system of the Argos cr Cluster. Go to the Hydra system of the Argos Rogue Cluster to investigate. Hopefully I'll be able to do whatever I want and there's no, like, time constraints and stuff, because I hate time constraints. There's a reason I'm playing this and not Persona 4. I want to play Persona 4. Persona interests me greatly, but it also stresses me the fuck out. Avena. Destination. Where am I? These allegations. I'll go ahead and save over what I just saved over, because I don't think we need to worry too much. I can't just... This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consul in confidence and her mother, and she betrayed her promise. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not... I like their weird talking. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. <laughs> Don't be so rude, Dan. I like this guy's talking. Yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Ambassador Volus. What is it you do here? <laughs> I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the council. You have my sympathy. Chastising rebuke, Dan. <laughs> the council favors your species greatly. I like this guy. <laughs> you are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the council long before our species will. Council admits. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus. <laughs> I love this guy. You Kellen, you Use are my favorite character so far. <laughs> really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This time is wasted on the humans. Hmm. Volus. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. History. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel 
shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. That feels like you should be However, part of the council after that. Despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the council. That definitely feels like you're being messed around with weird culture. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase tribe the members. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Hmm. I wonder if that might Since be part of why. Since we're not adept, we trade our services for protection. I wonder if that's why the council doesn't let them in. They're like, hmm, they're very volatile. Embassy. What is this place? Yeah. <laughs> you are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door. In his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Why so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <gasps> Chastising rebuke, Din. I love it. I love this guy. Our species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <clears throat> Details. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Well, I should go. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Zelton. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. What's wrong? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? I love these guys' this ta way of speaking. So wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. <laughs> what happened? What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. <laughs> Where is she? Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Good day to you too. I already like these aliens. They seem unique. Still kind of weird that I don't know where I am. Ah, damn it. Here we are. We were in the corner. No wonder I didn't see us. G damn it. I want to click and drag. Wait, Avina? Avina. Avina? Avina. Avina. And Avina. There are two Avinas. Are you Avina? There are three. There are three Avinas. <laughs> Horrifying. So it doesn't look like we can go that way, but we can go this way. Oh, it's because she's a holograph thing. Hello, a receptionist. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Investigate. Personal question. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. Busy? You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Personal question. What's your name? Oh, I already asked you that. My name is Sephiria. I'm the Goodbye. administrative assistant. I should be going. Have now. a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Please Hello, robot lady. To the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. <laughs> virtual guide? What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. 
I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Sounds interesting. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism I keep Terminal bumping my mic. Well. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. CSEC. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. Virtually. If you to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Spectres. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. So the CIA. They are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. For a moment, I thought she was going to say extraterrestrial. Authority except the council itself. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Please do not shoot anyone while you are here, because I'm carrying guns. I wonder what's in here. More diplomats. I should probably save in case I accidentally piss someone off. And let's see. Journal. Assignments. Ah, what about the, uh, the consort? I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. <laughs> I picked up a codex. I am amazing. <laughs> I leveled up. Level up intimidate. Decryption. Electronics. Twice each so that I can maybe get more. Unlock dampening. What's unlock dampening? Oh. I wanted to know what that was. Not. Oh well. It's not the worst thing. Doesn't seem like level is a uh, wholly ungodly. Ah, you fucked up. Let's see. Increases squad healing. Yes. Barrier. First aid. And I think maybe... Ooh, lift might be nice. So we're going to put more in throw. Ashley Williams. Morn Soldier. Let's see. Assault training. Increases weapon damage. Accuracy and damage. Oh, you need that to unlock shotgun tree. That's a bit weird. Okie doke. And I guess another ins soldier, just cuz. Human delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. I love the Elcor. The Elcor are like the best thing ever. The Elcor are like so far my favorite aliens. They seem so earnest. Their way of speaking amuses me. If anybody harms the Elcor, I will annihilate them. <laughs> Hello, Executor Palin. I'm going to save before I talk to you in case I accidentally insult your honor and cause you to talk against me. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? No. I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? I think so. Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? Hmm. CSEC. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. 
course, as the seasick representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the council, or so they like to be called. What if you have or multiple the hands? Hand inside of the council. You don't like them? What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. I like you. Especially I like you. It's up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. That's a bit naive. No, I think... I think I like him. Attitude towards humans? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Fair enough. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. The council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to like it. Hmm. I'll click this. The council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. <laughs> I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Eh, yeah, fair enough. Goodbye. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Gonna see if there's a... Yeah. This is open. I'm gonna save just in case he's like, What are you doing inside of my lunchbox? Because he might get angry at me. Potentially. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us. Few tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us at the Hawking Eater Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Ha. <sighs> That's freaky. Freaky deaky. I love that I can hack. I love that the hacking is super easy. Shepard, what can I do for you now? Nothing. Goodbye. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. To the Embassy Lounge, I suppose. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. <laughs> Why aren't you s <laughs> standing with him then? I don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. Huh. She's... She's... You don't have to do it with her. You can <laughs> just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jack? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! I bet you did, too. What do you want? Oh, Commander. <laughs> Fear me. something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What consort? can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari <laughs> horse here as... That is, she helps people with <laughs> She things. helps people you with things. You never wanted to see her, did you, Fabrix? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Where is she? Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. <laughs> I will. Have fun, that is. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Ah, human bartender. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Hmm. Commander? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger-than-average stir among the diplomats and hangers-on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. Fill me in. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try... Flux or Cora's den. <laughs> Shaira. What is Shaira's? The consort. Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. 
She's a very powerful woman, but also very respectful. Entertainment. Tell me about Flux and Cora's dance. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Don't know what the spider... <laughs> it feels like the... That alien species is, like, purely... Here for, like, technical support. We are the eternal spider technicians. We cannot leave our computers or we will die. How did you evolve to get this way? Badly. Rapid travel. Use it to move between major locations. More locations will unlock. To Citadel Tower. Guess I should probably head across to the concert chamber, see if I can find anything. Then maybe to the bank and emporium. That's a big statue. Maybe hologram? But this place is very interesting. Also interesting that they managed to like set this place up for all species, it seems. I've had my office rearranged five times now. Why? Five times? Yeah. What do they want? How should I know? It's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. Hmm. And yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If we try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces them. That's strange huh. that we know so little about them. Not to mention it's frustrating. So I guess the keepers are these little bastards? And I shall save again because I'm paranoid that I'll make some mistake, piss someone off, and then in Mass Effect 3 everything will go to hell. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? I need an appointment. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is the consort? What does she do? <laughs> mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things. I to feel like people. consort is going to mean for something each. different. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Maybe not. It would Most be hilarious. It's like, oh yes, the consort. Oh, it's difficult to explain. Then it's just something mundane. For them. Is she mystical? You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Hmm. Personal questions. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will Whenever I hear acolyte, I always think of the acolytes from Warcraft 3. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Ow. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. That sounds like business. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body. So you're a masseuse. And relieve it. Sounds interesting. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, mm, three or four months. <laughs> Are you serious? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Mm. No, thanks. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? 
Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Aha, uh -huh, I'm special. Yes, of course, mistress. <laughs> it's just like acting as if this is mysterious when she's wearing the same outfit that Nalina is. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Sure. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Very interesting. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. This is my first time. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't come sooner. After hearing the last one, I didn't expect that voice. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. I swear I've heard that voice before. Bubble, 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 bubble. Okay. And save just to be on the safe side. That's why saves are for paranoia. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. You checking up on me? I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about it. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Yeesh. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What went wrong? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Fine enough. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop You're getting very lies close. Me, I would be very grateful. Very close. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. And apparently I won't be able to do anything for the Ekor guy. I already forget how to say his species name because I'm terrible and have a short-term memory. I swear, this is laid on so thick that it's either yes indeed, it is what you think it is, or he he ha ha, it's actually something completely different. There is no in between. Either yes, it is what everyone thinks it is, or no, it is not. I guess we might as well talk. Welcome to pre the stat... In the oh. aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the council. Krogan rebellions. Tell me more about the Krogan rebellions. I thought it was going to be something more. In of their more... efforts during the Rachni yeah. Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other council species. Harsh. The Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. Sounds like a vicious cycle. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni. Then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry, <laughs> but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. And so are the Krogans. Memorial statue. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan, 
and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, <laughs> the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. No, oh, I'm not going to say that there. <laughs> Renegade line. Arachni Wars. Nearly 2,200 years ago, Yeesh. explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race. It's always the, the insects. The war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni Ah, world, so they're all gone. The Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. <laughs> That's a little extreme. Is it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment <laughs> of that nature goes beyond my programming. It would be interesting if we could, like, talk to her and gain, <laughs> gain her sentience. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Then we head this way. Emporium Shopkeeper. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. <laughs> so long. <laughs> Personal question. Who are you? This one's face name is Della Ninda. Face name! Though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. All of great worth. Personal question. Who are you? <laughs> this one's face name is... Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. Face All name. Great worth. I thought it would be a different personal right question. Up. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Hmm. View upgrades. <laughs> Shepard, view upgrades. Cry explosive anti-personnel rounds designed to shred flesh and other organic matter. These rounds are particularly effective against living targets. Uh, I thought it would be a different kind of upgrade. Commander. Show me your item. Oh, this View one standard. is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Considering I looked at the upgrades and found not really the upgrades. I still love it. It's just like, view items. <laughs> 70,000. I am very poor. He said there's licenses. I'll buy that because it's cheap. It's a hundred. Buy. Why can I? Yeah, I was wondering why I wouldn't, was not able to buy. I had to double click it. It was very weird. Amplifies increase biotic abilities by synchronizing the element zero nodes within the user's central nervous system. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> no comparable weapon. Oh, up here. Biotic amp. He is better than his, but he has, has better power bonus. This one's better duration. Interesting. Omni tool. For 600. Shield bonus, no. Tech cooldown is better, but med recharge, hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Better shields, but... Well, no, actually, no. Now, this one is better, but it's a fucking fortune. I could try and maybe sell things, but I don't know. The alien species are interesting. And these little fucks are everywhere. They're gonna turn out to be secretly Rachni here for revenge. Now, come on, we're back here. Let's steal. <laughs> I'm th I'm basically a weird moral person in video games. It's like I'm gonna steal from everyone, but when it comes face to face, I will be nice and kind.
Well, time to talk to uh, the economy guy. Hello, Barla. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. <laughs> Who are you? You've got me at a disadvantage here. <laughs> Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. That seems to be everybody's job here. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Hmm. Personal question. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. <laughs> a mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. Hmm. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. I'm not going to bother. Maybe I should. I did save. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. Ah, so you're the financial VPN For of the example, the universe. Suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his hmm. own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Interesting. Citadel. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. Tell me about the pr Presidium. What makes the Presidium so special? Give me all the information, the boy! the center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. <laughs> that makes it sound like I'm important. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. That's nice. Well, thank you very much. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. This place is just called a bank. I thought it was going to be more like a bank. <laughs> Joke's on me. Hmm. I suppose that I should probably head down underground. I'm just looking everywhere. It's just like, is that a thing? Is that a thing? Or is it just normal? Just a normal set dressing that don't need to worry about. To the wards. I guess let's head to the wards. Because why not? Oh. Oh, summon? You must talk to the council to... We are the elite, he says. By the way, you're not allowed to go down to the wards. <laughs> Maybe that's just there to keep you from wandering off. Presidium locations. Because uh... I would like to actually, like, talk to the general. Oh, I was already at the financial district one. It wasn't... <laughs> I am dumb. Let's see. D -d 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 journal. 
in the lower wards. I can't go there yet. So, I guess we have to head to the Citadel. Get accused of bad things by bad people. And be like, fuck you, I'm human. My camera's going wibbly-wobbly and I don't know why. And it might just be my inner furry. But... A decent amount of these aliens and not even... Well, I guess like that... For some reason, that type of alien interests me. Ever so slightly. What's that bug thing over there? What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. <laughs> well, let's talk about the keepers. Welcome to Presidium. Behind me is the spectacular relay monument. A to your left is one of the keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The keepers, the keepers are, are going to totally betray us. Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. Keepers. I'd like to know more about the keepers. Nobody knows. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential <laughs> to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. I'm the, the commander. I do what I want. Citadel, but are typically Kick. found in and around the tower. Why here? Any particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? So they can the bum rush the citadel if they need to. Species. It is assumed, however, and they decide the we're going to kill you all. Primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. I'm sorry, the but I would not trust this at all if this were real. Enigmatic. No idea. Some other destination. Creepy spider now. beings that we know nothing about that control day. the universe. I'm not going to click it again because then they're going to start finding me. I just know it. Well, Bob, we... Oh, I can't save. Oh, well. I saved recently enough. Well, at least we have guns. <laughs> Press spacebar to skip. Why is there motion blur on his face? Why are there earth trees? Are these sakura blossoms? Maybe. This place is very earth inspired, considering this is a frickin' alien citadel. <laughs> Go to the tower. Plot. Garrus, I know your name. And Palin, weren't you down below? Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. What did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a spectre. Most of his activities are classified. Couldn't find anything so solid. they didn't even give you a, the ability to investigate a specter that needed investigating? I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Ready to turn Maybe us into mincemeat. Doubt it. Apparently. Yeah, I just love the alien designs. But yeah, be, these bastards are totally gonna be like, You killed him! Well, maybe they'll accept the geth. But, still, they're going to be rather bastards about it, I can tell you that. Oh yeah, sure, your specter died, and there's another specter that was on the goddamn planet. Oh, but you're not, you're not going to listen. I'm going to wander around. Rear Admiral, dude. 
No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. Commander? But yeah, just from the fact... Oh wait, I can talk... Oh no, let's talk to my ally. But yeah, this is totally gonna be a hee hee ho ho. I just want to ask a couple of questions. But yeah, this is crazy. We, we want you to investigate the Spectre. Will I be able to access classified things to be able to properly investigate his actions and whereabouts? No. Wow, such an investigation. So investigative. It's almost like they don't want it to actually work. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. We have an eyewitness. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when you so have to against multiple times. against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. How did you get involved? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unable. But what can you expect from a human? Insults, typical. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. I'll find proof. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You won't see the truth. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. I wonder if there were specific things I could have said to get it right. Don't think so. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Council won't help We us. need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Hmm. I'll talk to Any him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Hmm. The Captain deserves better. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Hope you don't disappear, Captain. 
Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the ward. Any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarek. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. Interesting. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. What about you and Saren? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. So if no you go renegade, you would basically be another Saren. Civilians to end a war without a second thought. He's a monster. Killing innocence doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Colonel. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Council and Ambassador. Our Ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. That is kind of rich and coming I from agree. the Council. You settled those reaches of space knowing the risk. And apparently you told us. Hmm. We're too independent. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. Why do we bother? Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings, protect our own interests. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his geth. Problem solved. Hmm. Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. What He's is... Evil Shadow Broker is one of the few things that I've heard about, but only in passing. Part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to any, not direct. He's just a resource we can use, or shield. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Harkin. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined c -Sec about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Why protect him? The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human c -Sec officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in c -Sec now to stop protecting. <laughs> Spectres. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. If one goes too far? What happens when a Spectre goes rogue? Like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Is this legal? They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. 
The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents, the last line of defense, the final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. And Barlavon? Tell me about Barlavon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows <laughs> all the loopholes. Gotta love laws with loopholes. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Well, goodbye. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Probably should not go around pointing guns at people. Hmm. That guy's up to something. What guy? The one over by the keeper. Yeah, I was right here. <laughs> Hello, dude. Oh. oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Following the keepers? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Relax. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. Me friend. Oh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Hmm. Why? Ah, uh, tampering. I see. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Let me help. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I am the authority. I don't even know who you are. I'm with the Alliance. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Why are you doing this? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working Curiosity. everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Got it. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. I have maxed out charm. I'll be able to scan all of them. I'll scan all these little bastards. Which means... Eh, it depends. And then I guess we'll talk to that guy, too. Talk to everybody. Kohaku. No, I haven't spoken to him before. This is the first time I've requested an audience. Commander? 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 I guess we'll get a move on. Go places. Talk to Barla. Scan a bunch of keepers, I guess. And nothing else to do. And then once we expend all of our scanning, we will head down to the ward. Still don't know why there's such Earth-inspired stuff in here. Or maybe it's like a universal... Good God, elevator music exists here too. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's a matter of intent. His word or ours. I shall scan this keeper. You can't stop me. And plus. I'll disturb them all before you stop me. Who's the board here? Not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. 
but this one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the enkindlers to be spread enkindlers that hanar refuses to listen to reason why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner what's the problem are there laws being broken here i am not unreasonable the hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit <laughs> that's funny rules of permit so if the hanar gets a permit it's allowed to preach no registered evangelicals must follow regulations there are specific areas where preaching is legal failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license let me talk if to you'd it. like i could talk to the hanar for you i have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon you are certainly welcome to try do you two know about jellyfish do you desire to learn of the enkindlers or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Having trouble? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the enkindlers. Investigate. Legality of preaching. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden. And preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Hmm. Enkindlers. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Hmm. Purchase a permit. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Hmm. I probably should have saved. This isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Why can't I? I guess I don't have enough points. Hmm. Perhaps. Could I buy your permit? But no, the guy said thing. That is, like, multiple levels of weird. It's just like, ah, he doesn't have a permit. Oh, and by the way, some places they're not allowed to do it. I'll be back. This one will continue to spread. It's hmm. message. Any progress with that Hanar? Keep trying. Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the hand. Hmm. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or hmm. has the Honorable What's CSEC the Officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? The CSEC Officer requests that this one purchase an I'd like to help. Permits. Let me talk to the CSEC Officer. Perhaps I this one would be most grateful for... Any progress with that Hanar? Hmm. Sorry. I'm gonna quickly say. Wrong button. <laughs> quickly move away in case they take me pointing guns at a guy as bad. Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder why. 
I have maximum charm and stuff, but I can't do it. I wonder why. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just hmm. I, that kind of confuses me that I can't do it just yet. Scan. That makes me wonder if I'm doing something wrong or... Yeah, it's like, uh... Resolve the dispute. Still need to either get rid of the Hannah or convince the offer to back off. But how do I do that? Do I need to... Like, talk to people? Like, how do I do it? Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you put the it? truth? This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Ah, uh, can I buy your permit? What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. Ah, screw it, you do now. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. I feel like I got scammed. Well, let's see. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. My pro my pleasure. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. And I got Medigel. I'd say that that is a decent enough. Again, wrong button. It is super easy to accidentally point guns at people. That should not happen. Hello, Barla. Is there anything I can do for you today? Shadow Broker, now! I need your help. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Sarah? You're very blunt, Shepard. <laughs> but you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Can we make a deal? I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. Interesting. So I am going to give it to you for free. Free? What's the catch? <laughs> Lazy town. <laughs> there is no catch. Clip. The shadow broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. <laughs> He's not the only one. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details. But the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Anything else? That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. He is right, Shepard. Me. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Why is he there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with Csec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. <laughs> You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Hmm. Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances. But my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Money, money, money. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power, 
All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Well, tell me more about this chat. Most of the chat, yet somehow we never Who is seems he? to upset the Any natural. guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep they all the information AI. from getting crossed? AI. They've got the perfect setup. Totally AI. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. Hmm. But you're his agent. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. <laughs> At a distance. The more you know, the Not more too dangerous close. the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. All right. Thank you very much. Go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Commander. And I do believe that there is a keeper in the back room here that we can scan. And then we'll check up on the Krogan. Oh, no, over here. Yeah, there we are. And we get a decent amount of credits each time. Keep pressing wrong button. Ah, this heads up to there. But I'll quickly... I keep wanting to press shift because it's like, Oh yeah, this is the run button. No. No, it is not. That is the uh, extra stuff. Want to change a gun? Want to use an ability? Want to murder God? And at least this is a nice source of experience. And money. Money, 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 money. Money! Why is there something red over here? It feels like it should be important, but it doesn't look like it. And people don't want to question these freaky keepers. I do not understand the people. Again, who in their right mind would be like, this is a big ship and we can use it, but some things we do not know. These people, things, alien creatures that take hold and control this place? Mm. We don't know, we know nothing about them. But let's be here anyway. Make it the center point of our entire governance. Utter fools. I do not trust this place. I do not trust the keepers. One day, one day, these keepers. Huh. An elevator to the academy. I think the Krogan was going to the academy? In a, oh, if you catch him, you'll be able to get him before he goes to the academy kind of way. I just went in a circle, but I'm looking for keepers. Always on the lookout for keepers. You never know what you might find. But I don't think there are any keepers that way. But I do know that there is one hiding away. In the embassy bar. And we shall say hello, check things out. Open Sesamoon. Hello, bastard. Hmm, they're gone. Anything else now? I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Hopefully I don't have to fight you because you're here. But no, just more scanning. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Why not? What have you got? Information, mostly. Uh -huh. Would you like to know about some points of interest? Sure. Goodbye. I already know. I should go. Goodbye. 
So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. I'm guessing that he won't have much else to say, maybe. Hey, you know anything about a Krogan? I'm looking for Krogan. And I'm scanning keepers. Got any spare keepers running around? Shepard, what can I do for you now? Ah, goodbye. I'll be going. Goodbye, Commander. Any keepers? Yes, there's a keeper on this end. Scan. At this rate, I think I paid back all of my religious preaching money. Let's see. Journal. Rex might be able to help against Saren. He's down in the CSEC Academy. Go to Chora's Den at the Lower Wards. So, yeah, we'll have to go to the academy. But I want to go scan that one last one. Creepy crawly man. That's up here. Oh, but Sesamoon. Sesame. Sesame. I wonder if that's the pun. Or if it's something in translation. Because it's open sesame, but it could also be open says me. Captain. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Nah. I should go. I'll be here if you need me. Hopefully you don't die. It would be very sad. We're going to head to the academy, and then we'll head to the lower wards. And hopefully we'll be able to... I uh, think it's faster to go this way. It is interesting. I did not expect there to be a hub world like this. Well, let's take an elevator. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Harsh. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. I can believe that. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Blame the... <laughs> blame the council. Rapid transit. Ah. Traffic control. Ah, requisition offices. I keep pulling gun because I keep pressing shift. Oh. Here, don't uh, don't talk about the keeper. One sec, looking you up. Is me. I am the commander. Command Shepard. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Yes. Sure is. How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. Fair enough. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander I Shepard? I need supplies. Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. I want biggest gun. Aldrin Labs. Oh, I need to click accept, I guess. Instead of buy, because we're in the buy section. That actually makes sense. If only slightly. But anyway, thank you very much. I have more licenses. More licenses for me. And uh, we might as well get involved with Rex. He looks either ready to fight or to docking bay. No, thank you. I should have saved. Damn it. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. 
Stay away from here. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. <laughs> you want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. <laughs> Rex. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. <laughs> How so? Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. Tell me. What Let me know. Do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. He was on the run. He wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. And now I he want to kill Fist to too. Meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Why? What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the quarian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. The council will have to listen to us. We might be too late. Saren might already have her. Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. What about the Shadow Broker? I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. You seem like a simple Saren guy. Procedure. I don't know, there's a job. I'll Garrus, take it. That Turian, he wants to take Saren down too. We could use him. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Ooh. Hmm. Combat strength. You'd think he'd have more combat strength. I want. I like Caden though. I like Caden, except Squad. Let's see. Gonna save again, and uh, we'll head down there before we look for Garrus. I think he was called. And if we get Garrus, I'm gonna add Garrus to the team. What if he wants to and fuck why you? Do you think that? I I can't really get into the details. But Shorban will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. But I But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me details. Hey there. Oh, you're yeah. not C Stack, are you? Did you want something? I overheard you. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. <laughs> That's a serious claim. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. I think he just loves you. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home. Just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. <laughs> How can I help you? Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? I'll talk to him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the Good thing the I talked to you, then. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. Ah, huh. small world. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after <laughs> him. That's against regulations. I see. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. 
Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. He did sit. Hmm, I wonder why he said he couldn't get into the details. Hello, Commander. That is something interesting. He said he couldn't get into the details, but why? Then again, maybe it's because uh, he was C sec and I'm not. Ah. Codex. All the codex. All the codex shall belong to me. Oh, hey, another keeper I can scan. Whoop. Would be hilarious if they all turned around and was like, Hey, what are you doing? Scanning this keeper. Why? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Open journal about <laughs> the places I could go, probably. I wish I could have infinite sprint in these places. That would just be kind of nice. But yeah, <laughs> uh, I think we've spent the majority of our time here wandering around talking to people. Then again, this is a Bioware game. This is a Bioware RPG. Bioware RPG. I keep forgetting. Wrong button. Shall eat spheres, scan the keepers. There are uh, about nine more keepers I can scan. Strange transmission. Head to the century system in the Hawking Eta. Ah. Speak with General Septimus. Shadid Spheres. I'm gonna go down to the med clinic. Where is the med clinic? Wish I could actually like, click it and be like, hey, med clinic. There's requisition to lower wards to Docking Bay. I'm going to quickly save, go to Docking Bay, see if there are any keepers there. Then I guess we'll go to the wards. I'm surprised you're willing to fight Krogan, Rex. I thought you'd stand with your own. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. <laughs> I like this guy. Well, 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 would you look at that? A keeper. Huh. You're picking something up? You can see half the citadel from I think I heard that too. Uh huh. What is with the noise? Ah, to the Normandy. No time for that now. We the have Solarian keepers to find. The excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig Interesting. site. Interesting. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Take them anyway. If I heard that before I heard about... <laughs> I honestly probably would have uh, waited until I could talk the dude to go away. Binary Helix has settled out of court Wait. with the Krogan group that Darn it. accused the genetic I could have just gone down. of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Huh. And I was going to go down to the in lower wards. In Eden Prime, we present another profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance... Gonna go ahead and skip. Go faster. Put on my go fasters. I keep back I'm just gonna load. I'm just gonna load my save. 
I accidentally hit G when I was meaning. Why is holster after grenade? Wait. Uh, now I have to check journal. How many keepers? I did not scan this keeper. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts. Why is holster after grenade? Why is holster after grenade? And it happened again. There's some kind of interference with his second generation implants. I'm surprised you're willing to fight Krogan, Rex. I thought you'd stand with your own. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. He's not wrong. And with that scanned, I think that might be... at least a decent chunk. So we're gonna go down to the wards. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused... At least we got everything that we did before. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform... I don't think they let you save in elevators for some reason. And I shall save again, this time without thrown grenade. Man, we've been going for so long that I want to stop. This was meant to be a two-hour... Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Yeah. I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. No problem. It's like you have a fan. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Hmm. Harkin. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. CSEC. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than... You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Aliens are people. Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? <laughs> Politics. Citadel. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The, but I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. Well, thank you very much. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Public transit. Oh, uh, extranet terminal. More codex. Don't kid yourself. This is even bigger than it looks. How would you know? I got a tour. One of 500 that keep the offenses from the inside out. Really? There's just so much going on, and we, we've been going for so long that I do believe it is probably for the best. If I end here, and we can explore the wards and everything later. But yeah, so far, I'm really liking Mass Effect. Wait, did we level up? Oh no, he just has a lot of points that I can put into things. Krogan Battlemaster. Definitely... Summon to assault. Oh, what? Okay, that was weird. Combat armor. 
and a bit more into barrier and uh, one more assault rifle and yeah glad that we got that one more save just to be on the safe side so I don't forget to allocate his points and yes Aside from the wonky as hell, like, ooh, move the head of Shepard and even slightly get a look of things, that was weird and wonky. But yeah, overall, just really loving this. Really loving this. It, it definitely feels like a Bioware game. <laughs> Lots of walking around, talking to people, but I kind of like that. And we'll probably be doing more of that next time. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I've been Neon Icy Wings. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels, Neon Icy Wings and Neon Icy Games. The former for uploading edited content, and the latter for where stream archives doth go. And if you're one of those people that are watching the archives, you can watch me play these games live on twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. And if you want even more from me, I also try to post art to my Twitter, Tumblr, Newgrounds, and DeviantArt. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for uh, Tumblr. That's Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. And I can't wait to see what more that uh, Mass Effect has to bring us. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. As I finagle weird as hell. Ah, eh, I am Mass Effect. I control your mouse. Ah. Eh. But anyway, yes, thanks. Bye. <laughs>